Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms. Well, let me tell you what, you really want to make your wife happy. Park your uh, Kubota sidekick back at the corporate offices on the winter patio. And what I mean by the winter patio, this is the patio where we have the outdoor fireplace overlooking the pool and hot tub. Really a cool place to hang out on those cold winter nights. But what are we working on? Well, I posted a little short last night about uh, that we were uh, putting some new shoes on the uh, Kubota 850 uh, RTV XG 850 sidekick. And I didn't like the tires that came on there. When we picked the uh, Kubota up, the salesman there, he upsold my wife on a set of custom mag wheels and larger tires. Oh, okay, I was down with it as well, but the Mrs. H liked it too. Well, one thing over time we didn't like was they were 25 by 12 by 14 tires. And the uh, or the 12 inch width on those tires was just too much. And you can see it would sling everything up, even on the rider, up on your dash. So we decided, you know what? We need to go to a narrower tire. And uh, full disclosure, I thought these were uh, seven inch rims. Turns out they were nine inch rims. You know, when your Kubota's at the farm and you're at in Dallas and you're thinking about ordering tires, measure twice, order once. No, what is it? Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, that's the deal. So anyway, I'm not happy with the tires that we got. I think they're not gonna fit the rims. So the good news is I'm sending them back full refund. That's great. $50 restocking fee. Shame on me. Learner's expense. But here's the next thing. So ordered some new tires. So now I've got some uh, 28, which is one inch taller than what was on there by 10. So it's two inches narrower, which should cut down on throwing all of this up on the edges of your side by side and 14 inch wheels. So the wheels are coming, the tires will be here on Friday. We should have everything mounted and rebalanced and back to work. So while I got this down, I'm doing some maintenance. So I'm greasing everything. We're gonna give it a good power washing because it needs a good power washing. We're gonna change the uh, oil once we get it back on the tires. Uh, and the other thing we're doing is we're putting in a Demon two inch lift kit. And it's a real simple lift kit uh, to fit the bigger tires. Just gonna give it a little bit more meatier, tough appearance. <laughs> the old hot rodder in me. So anyway, these little brackets come in here. You got one bracket that'll mount on this side. You got a bracket, an L bracket that mounts here, which is uh, about an inch and a half taller than the other one. You got a spacer that goes through here to reinforce it. You bolt it back up. So what I did today, the uh, kit's going to be here tomorrow. I'm traveling on business, won't be back till Thursday. So maybe Friday afternoon after work, I can bolt the lift kit on. The new tires are supposed to be here on Friday. So hopefully at that point, I can have the tires mounted. And maybe on Friday or Saturday morning, we may have this thing running. So once again, I took the brackets off. I got the shocks loose, got everything greased. Same thing on this corner, got the shocks loose. Everything is greased. So uh, we're just waiting on stuff to show up now. So this is always a great opportunity to do some things. A while back, I posted a video of organization and I made that little divider. So uh, I don't want to spoil it yet, but we have a company that offered us a toolbox. Fully enclosed, it's a truck toolbox, but it's like 36 by 17 by 17 diamond aluminum plate black uh, really anxious to see that if they come through and they send me one that would be nice to put my tools in here keep them out of the weather more importantly keep them out of the dust we get so much dust so i'm hoping that uh, they come through with that if they do i'm going to reorganize this a little bit to where the toolbox would fit we would have a spot for the cooler a spot for a five gallon bucket for trash I still like this area right here for a T-post driver, wire stretcher, and then also maybe one other section there just to put some uh, electric fencing supplies. And then I'm hoping to have room here that we can put a uh, the 20 gallon spray rig in here and just leave it permanently. So uh, 
that's kind of the plan on what we're working on. We'll see if we can make it all happen. I think we're getting closer and closer, but uh, time will tell. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much a wrap for today, but the uh, Kubota sidekick is at the corporate offices, and it's in a spot it's not supposed to be, and I'm in a little bit of trouble with the missus, but it'll all work out. Okay, guys, Scott with Heritage Farms. All right, man, been in uh, Denver on business this week. It's, it's uh, Thursday night, about six o'clock, and I've just finished bolting in the uh, Demon Power Sports lift kit for a Kubota. And it's really nothing sophisticated. All it is is some new brackets to raise the shock absorber, basically an inch and a half or two inches. It, the bolts and the brackets, everything lines up. It wasn't anything difficult to install. I don't think it's really gonna change the geometry that much. We did go with one size larger tire. You can see we also keep the tire and the wheel inside of the fender. Here's a close up on the back side of what that bracket looks like after it's installed. And of course they say an hour and a half installation. Yeah, good luck with that. More like two and a half hours if you don't know what you're doing. And we got the new wheels. Full disclosure, I sent the other ones back. Got the tires that were 28 by 10 by 14 instead of 29 by nine. Uh, just needed something a little more substance to fit that wheel. All right, we'll show you some pictures after we get it bolted on. Okay, guys, well, we got the new terabyte tires on there. We got the two inch Demon lift kit. Looking pretty, pretty good. That is a uh, one stout Kubota 850. Give it a little bit more ground clearance. It's got some DOT approved tires. So you, these can actually uh, are recommended for going down roads where the other ones were not. More importantly, look at this. The tires are basically under the fenders. So hopefully that will stop spraying all of the uh, cow poo and mud and everything up into the cab. All in all, pretty happy. Okay guys, Friday afternoon, took half a day vacation. Been working on the uh, Kubota 850 RTV X, or X, RTV XG 850 Sidekick. Boy, that's a mouthful. Way to go, Kubota. All right guys, so what'd I do? We put some new terabyte tires on this bad boy. Some Tusk terabytes, 28s, 10s by 14. Check out the Custom Heritage Farms uh, wheels. <laughs> I wish we just put a sticker on the hubcap. Just happened to fit and we were missing hubcats, hubcap stickers. All right, so we put a two inch uh, Demon Power Sports lift kit on here. Put the new tires. I'm digging it. I think we're really gonna enjoy it. The thing that I like, just look at that. The tires do not stick out. They used to stick out two inches on each side and it would throw so much mud those days are now over. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, guys. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you the video. Put some stuff in here, a little bit more detail on the kit and everything that we installed. And uh, we'll go from there. And as always, guys, glory be to God. If you're new to the channel, please hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Love to hear from you. And uh, we'll go from there.